First item on the agenda is approve the meeting minutes of February 10th, 2015. Do I have to read? Move the meeting minutes. I'll second. A motion to second. Any comments on the minutes? Very good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All motion carries. Item two on the agenda of receiving place on about drainage repairs. We have done today. Item three on the agenda, receive a place on file wage increase for Brenda Goodner to $18.50 per hour as of February 26, 2015, per recommendation of Terry Prescott of the Health Mr. Chairman, I move item number three. Second motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion to second. Comments on that? It's a six month probationary period, so we hire six months ago and For Sarah Lewis to seventeen fourteen per hour, effective February twenty eighth, twenty fifteen, per year. Move item number four. Second. A motion to second. The comments on that. Any not all in favor? Aye. 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 Those motion carries. Item five on the agenda: approve and authorize chair to sign third amendment to lease agreement between Webster County Board of Supervisors and the Iowa Department of Administrative Services on behalf of the Iowa Department of Human Services. Pretty much the energy you've been writing down on uh, cubicle space at uh, the DHS office for the traffic system. It's just time for removal. Any other questions or anything? Hearing none, all in favor? Item 6 on the agenda, receive a place on file voluntary annexation of the lots 1 and 2 of Airport Industrial Development Plat in the City of Florida. Mr. Chairman, I go back to number 6. Second motion, Mr. Chairman. Second motion, second, and comment on the annexation. This is fixing up five dust. Yes. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Item 7 on the agenda, approve request from the City of Clare to assign tax sales certificate number PO40552, partial number 201262270182, back to Webster County. Webster County. So move to Second. Motion second. Comment on the tax certificate. Any all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 8 on the agenda, approve and authorize conservation board to enter an agreement with Mid-American Energy to provide electrical service to Chipson City Oil Street Park. So, second. A motion second. Any comment on that, Matt? Good morning, everyone. Matt Cosgrove, Conservation Director of Western County. Um, this is an agreement with Mid-American to run the primary power into the campground, so this is about a half a mile back to the campground location. So, um, the portion of this that's being paid by the county is this 33000 that's basically for the Mid-American materials, the wire, the transformers, that sort of thing. Um, the trenching and or boring and the conduit is being paid by a uh, federal trail grant and uh, being matched with the ATG registration dollars. So they're a sole source, so uh, that's, that's the company to go with. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you think you got paid to get wind turbine or anything? <laughs> Payback on that might be more years than uh, <laughs> just <laughs> that it's going to be out there. Any questions from that on the? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? One. Carries. We'll continue on with the citizens' <coughs> opportunity to address the board with items not on the agenda. Supervisors committee reports. Uh, I have two things. Uh, emergency management. We had a meeting last uh, Thursday, I think it was, and have decided uh, decided to uh, put it out for a full time position again. So everybody needs to uh, look for that. It will be advertised, and uh, we'll be opening that position up for a full time emergency manager again. So if you know anybody that is qualified for that, uh, apply. And then uh, Rag Dry, I just put out there that we're in a position now on those committees that we're looking for any volunteers. Uh, and you could call the Growth Alliance with, uh, uh, and just put your name on, uh, on a list and you'll get called. We need as many volunteers.
volunteers for that as possible. Uh, last night we met with our bureau board and discussed what's been going on in the county. We do this annually. Uh, Randy comes and does a very nice presentation with uh, Rhodes and his five-year plan. Uh, we go over the budget and kind of discuss their concerns. And then we had a very good discussion on the sales tax increase to the fuel. Visitors Bureau, I guess the hotel kind of schools they used to be, but there's a long, long smooth. If you have any things going on in the county that you need a little help with advertising or something like that, stop over to see Dan. You can make a request to fund something for you. That's what they're there for. Uh, Monday and Tuesday of last week, I attended the uh, first two workshops at the Department of Transportation uh, concerning the five year plan. Uh, at the moment, there are no major changes anticipated in that five-year plan uh, unless the 10 cent a gallon of gas uh, tax goes into effect, which generates 215 million profit, uh, which obviously would be a good thing for the counties, the cities, as well as the DOT. However, uh, in the same breath, I have to tell you that it's a very, very, very contentious and political uh, situation. Otherwise, I, I, I will admit I didn't have the 
discussion with uh, This was there was, you know, there was some activity on the right of way that's left existing, and then uh, I wrote a letter, I formed and talked to them, and we just said, hey, you know, uh, how about let's just vacate the remainder? here? And they said, okay, proceed. So that's, here's where we're at. So I don't have any more comments or questions. Uh, normally, if I, I'm not trying to coach you through this, but I mean, we normally, everybody's input and comments and uh, you close the hearing and then uh, we normally pass a resolution to set final action. We, we normally do that at our next available board meeting. And I did, like I told you in an email last week, I did draft a proposed resolution for you to consider, which sets the 24th at your normal board meeting during the 10 o'clock time period where you can take final action to make final action to vacate this portion of the road. Normal to have, I think, to have uh, three hearings and maybe the second, or is it simply two hearings for this procedure? I don't believe any of that procedure applies. It's not like a, an ordinance. This is, we did exactly what the code of Iowa was set to do. And by, I believe by having the hearing and having everybody's input and, and, and ahead of time or at the hearing was done what well, our due diligence and then by waiting a week you will state your intention what you plan to do on your next agenda. And uh, I, I guess, yeah, but I, what I did say that, you know, um, took the liberty of writing whereas the hearing was held on the February 17th, and all objections and comments, either oral or written, were presented on or before the said hearing date. And then, therefore, um, having received all the objections and comments hereby set February 24th, 2015, as, as regular meeting to, as a time and place to take final action on the proposed vacation. So we don't have any written comments, Carol? Pardon me? No written
And then, uh, yeah, yeah, we, for my we're road, we're doing this. Is, there's, is there still the hay bales on the roadway? Currently, there still are. I mean, we have a road that goes to a field and it's open to the public and they can go down there, park on the tracks, so sit down there and smoke cigarettes and wait for the train to come before they kill themselves. And, you know, there's all kinds of things going on. We're just taking away the, the, the ability for that. I guess we don't have any other comments. There's a motion to go ahead and sit up. You have to close your hearing first, maybe? Yeah. I'll close the public hearing and take a motion. I think, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think, uh, yeah, after the, after the fact, I thought about, well, you, you never, you have your hearing, so you got to be open minded to know what, you don't never know what will happen, so we had the hearing and there was no negativity, I guess, so normally what we do is uh, you set another date to take final action to vacate the road, and that's what I, that's what I prepared. I, Basically, it's no, yeah, here's the thing. Well, who's it is. So we do need a motion to set the 24th as the date by the by yeah. action on vacation of. Uh, that would be windy. Technology Garfield Avenue. We're going to do that by resolution on February 24th. I'll second the motion. Okay. We have a motion to second. Any comments? And then all in favor? Aye. Anything else on the agenda? Okay, nothing else. Motion to adjourn. I skipped over. Well, he did start. He did start. He started. He started.